out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Cynthia Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person that you're thinking about, which I'll leave a link to Capricorn over here for you to check out at a later point. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective Capricorn, I'm just a man reading some paradise to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you be sure to let me know in the comments below because i love hearing those aha moments that you have with the cards right um it's how i keep up with y'all um and then also if you do find some cards that resonate with you i'd really appreciate it capricorn for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out this channel a lot and I always am super appreciative when you take the time to do that for me. And then finally, this reading's just here to give you some perspective, Capricorn. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. This is your life to live, not mine, right? This is just here to hopefully give you some food for thought for this week. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the overall energies of things, Capricorn. We're going to get into love. We're going to get into work. We're going to just get into everything, honey. So with all that being said, let's start getting into your general energies of things. So for the overall reading, for the, or the overall energies this week for you, you Capricorn. We have the world card and the four of pentacles. I don't know why I was struggling reading that. Uh, world card and four of pentacles. So how would we take this Capricorn? I feel like this is more so like an emphasis on uh, investments. That's something I'm just keep on hearing is like investments, but it doesn't have to necessarily mean in like the literal way of like investing in your into stocks and stuff like that or real estate capricorn this could just be in terms of like your energy right invest putting in which i kind of feel like it is just because of the world card i see this more so from a uh energetic place whatever this is like um i see the world as just like the natural occurring of things whereas like the hanged man capricorn i see that as more of like a something physical actually happening to you directly if that makes sense um so when I see this, this is kind of just like, you know, pay attention to where it is that you're putting your investments in terms of trying to change your life, right? Make sure that you're not getting stuck in cycles is something that I want to point out to you, uh, Capricorn. Some of you all as well, I just feel the need to point out because it feels as if like maybe like spirits really coming in strongly in that like some of you guys haven't been listening to your ancestors or spirit guides connected to your um, guardian angels, whatever it is that you subscribe to, Capricorn. Some of you guys have not been connecting to them. And it's kind of like a, it's just like a side message, but it's just like, hey, like, we're still here. Like, start connecting to them is something that I want to say. I won't be surprised, I guess, is something I want to point out is if we see like a high priestess coming in here, high priestess or higher front. If we see that, you know, what's up? Uh, but yeah, good energies overall. Keep in mind with what, with what I said. Capricorn, but now we're going to get into the career side of things for my Capricorns interested in career. We're going to see what's up with that. So oh, this card wants to come out too. The Justice card wanted to come out, I guess, as well as the Ten of Cups. So this is kind of like a, I almost want to see this. This is um, karma, good karma. Well, I don't want to just say good karma, right? Capricorn, you would obviously know if you've been putting out good karma in the world, if you believe in karma. Uh, but when I see this Justice card in the Ten of Cups in relation to career, I see things like, um, we'll just say good karma, right? Because the people on my channel watching this video are all good people. Uh, good karma coming in. So this would be like high, big time like promotion energy. This is so maybe this week if you've been Capricorn thinking about... Um, asking your boss for a raise for example this would be a really good week the energies like the scales of justice would be leaning in your favor i guess is what i'm trying to say with this um so really good ten of cups lets me know of where it's like your cups would be filled from this way uh tours actually got this as well for their um career so it's interesting that you got that let's get some clarification though get some more detail on this good card so far we have back of the deck energy seven of pentacles so seven of pentacles it's like the this is like the uh i call this like the farmer card this is like the card of where you plant your crops right and 
you get like a bountiful harvest like you collect some of the harvest but you're also in that time like while collecting har that harvest you're still planting seeds you're putting in that good investment for later right so like kind of what i was talking about with the uh seven of pentacles not seven of pentacles well, this is seven of pentacles with the four of pentacles with the world card there's like just those investments but also the seven of pentacles is talks about being open-minded and when you have this in terms of your career, maybe, I can't help but uh, feel like for some of you Capricorns, uh, the emphasis in terms of career seems to be in terms of communication. Um, now, I don't know if this has already happened to Capricorn. Let me know in the comments if it has, because I'm, I'm interested. But we have, as the three clarifiers I pulled for you, we have the moon card that first jumped out. So this is letting me know something kind of catching you off guard or something happening or where it wasn't pleasant. Let's just say in the work life, in the workplace, um, you have a coworker that, or like your boss, randomly cut, yeah, we'll do boss. Your boss randomly cut hours um, for people. And you're in this place where it's just like, well, hold up, wait a minute, you need this money. You have a family to feed. You have like your cups and that needs to be filled, right? You, you, you need to be treated fairly, right? You feel like you're being treated unfairly having your hours cut. And so, this is where the Seven of Swords and Page of Swords comes in. For some of you Capricorns, I feel like you're searching for a message to like kind of enable you to let go of something, right? And I'm not going to tell you not to, right? If you're having thoughts of moving on from something, then that's that's your that's your ministry, right? That's your choice, right? I don't see that as a bad thing, just because again with this World card, World also talks about change of perspective as well. You could be breaking that cycle through moving on, right? But Page of Swords, Seven of Swords is kind of like an emphasis of don't run away from confrontation. Uh, this is heavy energy of whether it is just going in for your boss, asking for that raise. Don't be afraid of asking for that raise. You are worth that raise, right, Capricorn? Or whether it's asking for more hours or whether this is just you taking a stand and be like, hey, like, I don't like this, right? Page of Swords talks about like the energy of where... Kind of something's been either you've been being watched um and some no i don't even feel like it's been like you've been being watched it's more so like i feel like you've been like observing like behaviors that haven't been pleasant for you and you don't you there's something that stuff that's been making you raise your eyebrow and making you wonder if you should abandon ship making kind of like overwhelming you as well like maybe you're starting to find recently capricorn every time you go into the workplace like you everything starts tensing up and you just can't relax until you leave and even then maybe you can't even fully relax until you're home and still it takes a while for you to unwind this is a sign for you, Capricorn, to use your voice, I feel. Use your voice and speak up of what it is that's um, displeasing you in the workplace. So, good cards for that overall. Uh, let's now get into love uh, for you guys now. The moon card flew out again <laughs> for you guys. So, uh, heavy into something... Uh, well, let's get some clarification because the moon card by itself, when it comes to just, like, love, is... You can go so many different ways. So the three cards I pulled out for clarification, four of cups, six of pentacles, five of cups. Ooh, Capricorn. <laughs> this is letting me know of an energy of, um, almost as if like, it feels like someone, you, I feel like it's you have connected or are actively trying to connect with an extremely guarded energy. Someone that's kind of pr extremely private, won't really open up to you. Um, and it's just like, you're putting in a lot of effort, a lot of communication, trying to like make it work and trying to understand them, just connect with them. And I just feel like it's not really working, right? With this four of cups and the five of cups, this lets me know where it's just like this frustration of where it's just like, why, like, it's almost as like, why, like, I keep on hearing, it's like, why isn't the things that I'm doing, why isn't the effort that I'm putting into this doing, like, working, right? Six of Pentacles talks about, like, that balance as well, speaks of balance as well. So the balance keeps on coming in for you um, in all aspects of your life, right? Five of Cups, it, this could be, a, it's kind of brutal, uh, Capricorn, but it does, feel like, I did get the message that some of you guys might just be, like, eating a dead horse, right? That's something that did come to mind of trying to just, like, it's almost like, how do we put this? Like, really trying to make something work that you that you kind of know deep down isn't for you. Or like you're settling, almost. Like you're settling for something or you're settling for behaviors that just are not um, 
for your greatest value. I don't know. It's kind of like similar theme Capricorn to your work situation, your career situation. For some of you Capricorns, I feel like you need to have like this honest conversation with yourself of being like self, like a conversation of self worth and think about what behaviors you allow in your life, what actions you allow in your life. High priestess comes in back of the deck emphasizing more. Well, didn't I actually say Capricorn that I wouldn't be surprised if the high priestess card comes in? What am I saying? Uh, but High Priestess also talks is the representation of not only intuition, but also more so emphasizing that guarded energy, uh, Capricorn. It just feels like you're trying to like um, reach out to like a brick wall almost. And Ten of Pentacles comes in where it's just like, yeah, like it feels like you're really just trying to make something work in the name of stability. So you don't have too much change, too many shifts in your life, perhaps. Or maybe this is just like something that's like, lets me know also of where it's like an energy of where it's have like a little bit of history right i do feel like there's been some history in regards to this connection so that's why it's a little bit harder for you to do what you need to do right that's why it's a little bit harder for you to even accept that you're not getting that equal give and take in terms of just like effort in terms of this connection perhaps and maybe that's probably what's bothering you a little bit right it's kind of a bummer when you think about it because I see on your side of things, uh, let's call you Taurus, uh, Capricorn, that you really want things to work out. <sighs> so, interesting. So, let's get into now the overall dramas of things for you, Capricorn. What advice can we get from Spirit in regards to this week for you? Just an overall general energy read, right? See what's up with that. Um, but we have Queen of Wands popping out for you. Queen of Wands is a really good card to have for your general energy, just because the Queen of Wands is the stretching your wings and flying card. It's that card of um, going out on your own and just doing what... It talks about forward movement, right? So for some of you Capricorns, like... Let's pull some clarifiers before I get too deep into there. Mmm. Okay. Honey, what did I say, Capricorn? What did I say at the freaking beginning? What did I say at the beginning, honey? <laughs> Listen, Capricorn. I just want to say... <laughs> your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, they're screaming at you right now. They've been following you around, trying to yell in your ear, trying to help guide you, trying to, um, you know, break you off from those toxic situations, those toxic relationships, and you just have not been receptive towards it. You just haven't been paying attention to them, it feels like, right? When you have it with the Queen of Wands, they're really trying to give you your independence in some type of way. Um... So that's just something I want to say is like, honey, it feels as if like they really wanted that message to come through <laughs> Capricorn. So uh, the other cards that came out, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, uh, beautiful cards. Uh, I see this more so as an energy of I'm honestly going to take this as like as a way as like this row more so just messages from spirit at this point i'm going to be honest capricorn and it feels like the advice that they're trying to really give it feels like they're trying to give some type of guidance on with this ten of cups i feel like some type of social connection it feels like almost like something that you hold closely to you like a close friend or family member something that you kind of allow close in your space um, they kind of want to give you a little bit of insight in some type of way now this could be good or bad king of cups lets me know um, it's just such an emphasis on wanting to look at something in regards to your emotions, in regards to your love life, perhaps. Not just love life, right? Um, just, like, taking a look at, like, just the emotional side of things, the, how your emotional relationships, I guess. Ace of Pentacles, you know, this is honestly kind of going back to what I was saying before of, like, Capricorn, a meeting to, like, take a, have a conversation with yourself of self-worth. This really could just be about that as well, because Ace of Pentacles is like that, this um, blank check from the universe, Ten of Wands, yeah, this is confirming to me. This is really a weak Capricorn of looking at your self-worth. Why do you not have a good self-worth if you don't have a good self-worth, right? What is it that you think you deserve? And ask yourself, why do you think you only deserve that much regardless of what it is that however much it is that blank check is for right regardless how much you write it down for right ask yourself why haven't you why don't you want to double that right is it because of some type of past situation is this guarded energy that i was talking about connecting to before you 
Capricorn, are you the guarded energy? Are you trying so hard to like black out being vulnerable? Perhaps let me know. Like it's really interesting how these cards came out uh, though, Capricorn. But let's get an overall uh, Oracle card for this energy. But yeah, that's the reading that I have for you. Really enjoyed this, by the way, uh, Capricorn. It was really, <laughs> let me, definitely let me, for those that are spiritually inclined, definitely connect to your spirit guides because they're coming in so strongly. Um, but if you enjoyed this reading, Capricorn, let me know which card car called out to you the most. Let me know um, which one resonated with you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Um, and the animal card that came out for you, 628 uh, for numerology. So write that down, Capricorn. We have the turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like, yeah, don't rush into things. Don't feel like... You, this is more so like a card of being like, especially with the world card. You know how I was talking earlier about Capricorn, of how I saw like the hanged man as like a drastic action that shifts your perspective. The world card is like the natural occurring of events. So I feel like th just allow the energies of this week to just don't try to be so hands on with everything. Kind of just like go with the flow of things. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. You know just keep, keep swimming, honey, like in Nemo, right? And I feel like that's really going to assist you uh, throughout this week, Capricorn. But yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to share with my readings with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, Capricorn, bye.